Sir David Attenborough Arguably the greatest export to come out of Britain This iconic natural historian is probably best known for writing and presenting programs that have inspired the modern format of nature documentaries and you would be hard pressed to find somebody who didn't recognise his voice anywhere in the world. Sir David was born in Isleworth, Middlesex, which is a town situated within West London on May 8th, 1926. The town, like many others of its kind in the UK, feature many historic buildings and landmarks and has a rich history. A notable resident from the past, famous artist, Vincent van Gogh moved there in 1876 to become a teacher and assistant preacher at a local school, where he would then paint his world famous self-portrait. Sir David, a middle child, grew up in Hayden Hill House on the campus of the University College Leicester, which was purchased by the Attenborough family in the 1870s. Like many children, David had unusual hobbies. His interest in collecting fossils and stones, along with collecting newts for the zoology department on the university campus, may have shaped his life as we know it today. At the age of 10, Sir David attended a lecture by British-born conservationist Grey Owl. And according to David's brother Richard, David was bowled over by the man's determination to save the beaver. By his profound knowledge of the flora and fauna of the Canadian wilderness, and by his warnings of ecological disaster should the delicate balance between them be destroyed. Surrounded by academics his entire life, David himself attended Wigaston Grammar School for Boys in Leicester and then would go on to win a scholarship to Clare College and obtain a degree in natural sciences. In 1947, he was called up for national service in the Royal Navy and spent two years stationed in North Wales and the Firth of Forth. Upon leaving the Navy, David found a job working for the BBC, editing children's science textbooks for a publishing company, a job he didn't enjoy too much. During this time, he had been in touch with Mary Adams, who was a television producer who worked for the BBC and would offer David a three-month training course, eventually leading into his television roles. David would then go on to write and present the critically acclaimed series, Life on Earth. The series was a major international success. It was sold to a hundred territories and watched by an estimated audience of 500 million people worldwide. From then, he would create many major hits, loved by millions all over the globe and winning numerous awards and gaining a huge following. David has become a huge voice in the fight against climate change. Climate change. Climate emergency. Entire ecosystems are collapsing. Threatening our very civilization. Humanity is waging war on nature. This is suicidal. He's always said he didn't start making programs with conservation in mind. He simply enjoyed observing the natural world. But as time passed, he became aware that the animals and habitats he was filming were under threat. He's authored documentaries which overtly tackle environmental issues but prefers a subtler approach, showcasing the natural world in the hope that we might be inspired to preserve it. Sir David has done more than almost any other person to help millions of us understand and appreciate the wonders of the world around us. I think if we were to honour David's life we should all strive for humanity to live in unison with the natural world. Sir David Frederick Attenborough